What's up guys, it's Lights Bro here, and today I'm bringing you a video of a pretty weird Dragons team that I'm not sure exactly how successful it's going to be, but I think it's going to work. It's going to be super slow. Um, I'm well aware that it's going to be really slow, and there is a chance that it's not going to work in this video. I know that it's worked. I tried it three times, and it actually did pass all three times. But I can definitely see where this could fail um, if I like if RNG doesn't go my way. And so we'll try it now. Um, the title of the video is going to be like Double Serpent in Dragons B10 or you know so something along the lines of that. Um, so I'll go in depth more in depth on the serpents in this video. But the whole team, uh, the team as a whole, I don't really recommend it. And I'm just realizing other than Emma, it's actually farmable. And of course, instead of the fire panda, you could use Bella. Instead of Emma, you could use Bella, um, whatever. I'll explain the roles of all these guys and why I thought to do double serpents in this video. So Vero is the first one in this team. And you guys know what Vero does. He's got the cleanse passive, which is the main reason he's there. And the dots also help to do a little damage on the boss. Um, Emma will do the a nice little heal with a defense buff and a shield. I think right now with her current runes and the HP leader, she's healing about 11,000 I think I just saw, which is pretty good considering it's a four turn cooldown. Um, this is the stage right here that I was saying if I didn't get lucky where I could lose, um, but like um basically if these two crystals were to attack Vero and the first one defense broke and then they both crit then Zyros followed up there would be a chance Vero would die and that'd be the end of the run but it's looking pretty safe right now and not very close to losing um but yeah so Emma also does a buff strip but my Emma doesn't have any accuracy on her so it's unlikely she'll land the buff strip too much and she also has a glancing hit first skill, but once again, I don't have accuracy, so it's unlikely I'm going to land very much of it. Um, the Fire Panda uh, has a little bit of heals, a defense break, and the third skill does a little bit of damage and some debuffs. I think he does speed debuff, attack debuff, heal block, and something. I don't actually know. Um, Shylock. The all, well, both the Serpents have the same first skill, which is a buff strip, um, and the same second skill, which attacks three times, does damage according to their max HP, and each attack has a 30% chance to decrease the boss's attack gauge by 30%. So if you get lucky, it's a 90% attack bar decrease, but most of the time, you either get 0 or 30%. And then Shylock's third skill, AoE attack bar decrease by 30%. And Feo's third skill, AoE Taunt, plus um, he gets this little Reflect Damage buff. But so the reason I thought to use the Double Serpents in Dragons is A, um, the, since they both have a first skill strip, I was like, well, it's kind of like, since because it's only a 75% chance, but since there's two of them, I was like, well, that's basically having a stripper right there, because um, you have two 75% chances. And then I was like, well, if, since they both have the second skill that has that decreases the attack gauge with a 30% chance, I was like, this could kind of be like a budget hua if I get lucky. Um, of course, there's no speed debuff, but there is the attack gauge decrease. And then Shylock's third skill is just a pretty Dragon's B10E, I guess. I know that's not an adjective. That's not a real like word, but I'm using it. And so, <laughs> I don't know, it's AoE attack edge decrease, which is pretty nice. And then Feo's third skill is not very, it's actually pretty useful in the first stages, um, especially on stage three, if he uses his third skill to make it so Zyros doesn't use his third skill. Um, it's pretty nice. And then the reflect damage, I thought would be kind of cool to use on the boss. So the, the boss will kind of kill himself because this team doesn't have a lot of damage. Um, it does a little bit of dots from Vero, but those hardly ever go off because I don't have AoE speed debuff, so the right tower is like going all the time. But yeah, Vero does a little damage, the Panda does a tiny bit of damage, but then the Serpents actually, since both of their second skills scale on their max HP, they do a little bit of damage. 
but I thought it was kind of cool to have um, the, re the reflect damage from Feo. So this team, you saw, it didn't look like it was very close to losing, but of course, um, there is a chance that it could lose on the third stage, but any team there's a chance. It was four minutes. Um, it's a super safe team. It's all farmable other than Emma. Um, Emma was a pretty good pick here, for, I thought, though, because her heal's really nice and the defense buff is nice. Um, but, of course, you could use Bella instead of Emma. You could use Chasun, Praha, Ariel, whatever, whatever you have. I'm sure it'll work. Um, but, yeah, I just thought there was kind of a fun video. Um, Shylock, the water serpent, is a little popular. Like, every there and then you'll run across someone that has one. Um, I tried to make him for a Dragon's B10 speed team, and it didn't really work. So I was kind of upset with that, but <laughs> I made this team, which I don't run because it's too slow. But if you if you want to make your first team, this is a example team you could use. And you saw it was really safe. Um, Feo, the Fire Serpent, I've never seen a single person other than myself that has it six-starred. The reason I six-starred it was I did this challenge. I have the video up from way back when I did the challenge. But basically, I had to do a random number generator, and whichever monster it landed on, I had to six-star it. And me and my brother both did it. And I got Feo, which is not very good. But at least I found a way to put him in a Dragons team if you want to try it. Um, if you had other Serpents, the Wind one or the Dark one will work better than the Fire one. Um, because they have AoE speed debuff. And then the Wind one has a damage reduction passive, which is nice. And the Dark one has Dots and Defense Break, which is nice. But so... Wind and Dark are better than Fire in this, the case of the Serpents. But, yeah, this team I imagine works pretty good. It's a beginner team for sure. If you are already running Giants B or Dragons B10, don't bother making this team because it's not going to improve your time. Like, It's not likely that m many of you guys have a run too much slower than this. I'm aware some people are going to have like 5-minute Dragons runs. But this team is not worth it because... Likely, if your dragon's run is five minutes, you have Vero, likely. You might have Emma or Shylock, might. And I highly doubt you have Feo or Zhang Fei. But so it's not really worth your time. Like, let's say you just had Vero. It's not worth your time to make four six stars to increase your run by one minute. Because you can make four six stars and increase your run by two minutes, like, easily. Um, but that's... I don't know, for a different time. I'll show you the runes on this. Um, and if you guys want to try this and tell me how you liked it or didn't like it, definitely do. Um, or if you use something close to it, like, I don't know, if you can find any way to use double serpents in Dragons B10, it'd be cool. Um, of course, I doubt many of you guys are going to use double dragons and, or sorry, double serpents and the fire one will be included but i think a couple of you guys might be able to come up with a good team with shylock and manchura in it or even shylock and armada in it and so yeah be sure to tell me about those if you guys do do that um here's my vero he the only things to note is max accuracy in dragons is 55 percent he's got above 55 percent accuracy the 180 speed you saw the speed was a little lacking at times um there was times where it, the boss would attack and I wouldn't have cleansed. So a little more speed, maybe some violent. Um, sorry, my thing just crashed. I'll pull it back up here right now. Um, but yeah, Vero is um, not ideally ruined. I don't really use Vero anymore, so I don't really give him great runes anymore. But his HP is plenty good. His D You saw he was plenty good to tank it. Um, but you just might want a little more turns or another cleanser in there instead of one of those healers, like instead of the panda or something. Um, the Emma uh, does not have max accuracy. I would recommend max accuracy, but it's not necessary. Um, she was able to keep up well with the heals. So I know I have the Sky Tribe Totem maxed, so I get plus 15%. But this is 176 speed plus the Sky Tribe Totem. And the, with the Vero leader skill for HP, she was healing 11,000 plus defense buff every four turns, because I do have mine maxed. But this this was plenty good of a heal, at least in combination with the Zhang Fei heal. But I would recommend a little more accuracy if possible. Um, 
Here's the Zhang Fei, who is not really great in this, but and so I just decided to use him instead of Bella just to mix things up. Um, he's <clears throat> He's got defense break, which I would recommend using on this team because otherwise it's just going to take super long to kill the boss. Um, he's got a little bit of a heal with a second skill and a little bit of damage and a couple debuffs with a third skill. Um, so he does not have max accuracy either. Um, if you do want to use him, basically just ruin him standard support. You saw this, he did his job fine like this. Uh, he didn't really have much of a job to do. The only job he really had was try and land defense break on the boss and a little bit of healing. So Zhang Fei is not the greatest option here. If you have another cleanser, you should maybe run that instead of Zhang Fei. Like, I don't know, if you wanted to use like Lisa, then it would be double serpent and double neostone, and it's double water, double fire. So that might be a kind of fun video I actually might make sometime in the future. Um, keeping a mental note of that. But my Lisa doesn't have, that'd be, f if you had accuracy on all four of these, you would have four buff strips between the, these four monsters, which might, I don't know, it seems a little overkill, but <laughs> it might actually be good. Um, but yeah, I'll just put, I'll just put the panda back in there for now. Um, I'll show you the Shylock's runes. He's on, he's actually has a revenge set. Um, you don't need revenge. I actually think the best way to run him is violent. Um, or maybe even despair if you want, but I, th I think violence is best. He doesn't have max accuracy either, so it's great to know I don't have max accuracy on anyone but Vero. Um, obviously, this isn't, I do not have this team ruined well this is not my dragons team so you guys if you do try to make this there's many improvements to be made um but what to note here is with shylock you want 55 accuracy and then as much speed and hp as possible um yeah shylock did his job good enough to help us win and then feo um oh okay well feo has max accuracy so and oh, he has good resistance too, but he has plus zero speed. <laughs> um, what do I have him here? I'll, I'll, I need to show you the runes on Shylock too. Like I'll show you the runes on that in a sec. Um, what to note with Feo, if you are ruining him, is basically you just want him as much HP as possible and preferably little defense because the more defense he has, the less damage he'll reflect with this skill. So hopefully he's just a lot of HP and not a lot of defense. Um... But yeah, a lot of HP, 55 accuracy, and then some resistance so he doesn't get defense broken. You saw he has 84 resistance, and he did resist the defense break from the crystal in the third stage. So maybe resistance works. I don't know. But yeah, that's um, that's how you would want to rune Feo. I'll show you the runes one by one for Shylock and Feo now. Um, I have this. He's on speed. HP and HP. Um, you can go back and pause it if you ever need to. And then here's the Feo runes. He's on energy, guard, endure. So guard is not preferred, but I probably just had okay runes. Um, I have him on HP. Yeah, I can see why I use it. I had 16 resistance and 5 accuracy. HP and accuracy. Um, I did not give Feo good runes because I don't use, I literally don't use him in anything, but he's got just like filler runes. Uh, that's pretty much all this team has. I use the Fire Panda in my R5 team, so he does have good runes. I use Vero a little in TOA, so he has like mediocre runes, but then these three right here, Emma, Shylock, Feo, I don't use them in anything, so they really do just have filler runes. But now um, that's all I have for today's video, guys. It stretched on longer than I thought it would. I was just rambling on about this team. But yeah, that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just leave it in the comment section. If you have any other videos you want to see, also, you can just tell me in the comments. But yeah, that's all I have for today, though, guys. So may the best year today's be the worst year tomorrow's.